Student filmmakers across the county are competing this Saturday in the IV Film Festival. And here now we've got the executive director and founder of the Media Arts Center San Diego, Ethan Vontio. Right? Morning. I got I got that right. Yeah, All you. right. And then we've got Cesare. You are a filmmaker, student filmmaker. Yeah. And from what I hear, you won last year. I did. Okay, so we're gonna get to that in just a moment. So IV stands for Innovative Video in Education. Ethan, can you tell us a little bit about what that is? Yeah, it's a festival that's been celebrating 21 years. It originally started by the the County Office of Education okay. to celebrate student filmmakers like Cesar, but also the teachers who work so hard to work with these students across the county. So North County to South Bay, over 400 entries this year were wow. submitted to this year's festival. And of those 400, we chose about 100. Mm. Only get 100 get to be screened at the upcoming film festival this Saturday. And then some of them will win awards as well. I love this. It's easier, you, like I said, you won last year. Can you tell us a little bit about what that was like when you won? Yeah, well, that was just so incredible, and I just want to thank the Digital Gym and everybody there for uh, making this experience. It's such a wonderful experience, uh, and yeah, it was uh, it was really great. You know, we were just there in the cinema, and I got to have my film screened, and we uh, had a brief conversation about it. Yeah, it was a really wonderful experience. And what inspired you to enter into filmmaking? What what was it that really you were like? You know, this is what I this is what I want to do. Well, um, I think my parents, my. Mm -hmm. My mother and father are in the arts, and they've always been very supportive of me. Um, and from a very young age, they were very interested in uh, kind of educating me in the arts, uh, in theater, and in uh, photography and filmmaking. Um, and so uh, I think one of the first films I saw in a theater was Pan's Labyrinth. So I'm a oh, there you go. <laughs> lifelong Del Toro fan. Uh, so yeah, I, you know. How can you not love film after right, seeing right. Labyrinth? <laughs> and then you've entered a film this year, and it's uh, Regulate TikTok. Yes. So can you talk a little bit about that submission? Of course, yeah. So this was a film that I made at school with my wonderful friend and collaborator, Barkley Dubas. Um, and this is a TikTok against TikTok. <laughs> uh, <laughs> because we were joking around and we were saying, you know, what if this, uh, this is an entry or, or this is a uh, this is a kind of a submission call around TikTok, right? Mm -hmm. So what if we made a TikTok against TikTok as an hmm. informational TikTok? Um, and that joke just kind of spiraled until eventually we were like, eh, we ain't got nothing better to do. Oh my <laughs> yeah. gosh. Well, you've submitted it. And Ethan, I have to ask, yeah. you, you, you said like you, you screened Four hundred. Well, there were four hundred submissions. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, that must be difficult to kind of wire. I mean, you're you you say that you pick a hundred out of the four hundred, and then yeah. you're going to choose just even what a handful of the hundred. How do yeah. how yeah. It does that work? So you know, every year there's a wonderful selection committee in the jury made okay. of local educators, local filmmakers, and so they review all, all the films. Uh, and there's different categories too. It's there's PSAs, documentaries, short narrative films, TikTok videos, right? Uh, and then also different age groups: elementary, middle, and high school students. Oh my goodness! So it's a, it's a wonderful process. But you know, as Cesar mentioned, the amazing opportunity to see it on the big screen. Mm -hmm. And we invite everyone to come out this Saturday. Uh, high school movies are screening at 10 a.m. Great opportunity. If, even if you're a filmmaker, that student that's listening right now, sure, you want to meet other filmmakers. It's a wonderful opportunity to network and meet the, all the educators as well. So we invite everyone to come out and see these wonderful movies on the big screen, like they should be. You know, it's funny. I, I I didn't get into filmmaking. Obviously, I landed here, but I do remember back in high school we had one teacher. And he kind of did, he did the audiovisual classes, he did our morning production, he did all of these things. And those who are interested in filmmaking, I mean, I still remember him to this day, That's that when wonderful. people ask me, who was that one teacher that really inspired you? And although he did a, a number of things, I was like, yeah. oh, it was Mr. Clements. I mean, it's just so, you are also, I mean, you're inspiring them, you know, these future well, and filmmakers. and that's what's so great about this festival is that we need to celebrate right now, right? We need yeah. to celebrate our teachers, sure. educators. We need to celebrate our wonderful students who are working so hard every year to make these movies. So this is a great opportunity to come out this Saturday. This is incredible. Okay, so the Ivy Film Festival, you heard it. It's happening this Saturday. And if you're interested in attending or maybe you want to look into how you might be able to submit in the future, just go to our website, fox5sandiego.com. Click the scene on tab. Ethan? Cesare, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Thank and you so good much, luck. Man. Keep <laughs> us posted. <laughs>